The gentleman yields back. I want to follow up on his question. Are you suggesting to us that there are no outstanding uh, requests? Anything from the Marines? Uh, sir, the Marine Corps is responsible for providing weapons for the Marine detachments. Um, I am not aware that there are unfulfilled requests from the Marine detachments through their MCOs to the Marine Corps. Uh, the Marine Corps sets the specifications for what weapons they get, what gear they have. That's, that is up to the Marine Corps, not up to diplomatic security. The, um, the larger question about other things that we have, I Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to get to the Marines here, okay? Yeah. If they need material, if they need equipment, they're the to make requisition through the Marine Corps. Through the Marine Corps. Yes, sir. And they're to get that from the Marine Corps. Yes, sir. So if they need night vision capability, they need to be able to, they're, they're sitting there in the booth and they want to be able to see the perimeter, whose responsibility is that? Um, that would, if, if there's a need for night vision equipment, it would come from the Marine Corps. I would tell you, sir. Wait a sec. Now, there's individual goggles. Right. But then there are uh, cameras. Right. That, that look is out ours. The our, all of our cameras have night vision capabilities. That is absolutely not true. Sir, we... You are so full of it, I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, that sir. is not true. You sir. come before this committee, you come before Congress, and you keep representing that we have all this in... They do not. Sir. Don't dump we Mark back at me. No, Mr. Starr, you are not Mr. Starr. Mr. Starr, the time when I ask you a question, then you can answer it. This is the problem with you in this position. You cannot tell me that there is night vision capability at each of our embassies and consulates. Is that what you're testifying to? Sir, all of our cameras, even our lowest and oldest cameras, have enhanced resolution. Do they is, have a night vision capability? They are capable of seeing what is going on in the compound at night, sir. In the dark? If, the, if, no. if we lose all power and if we lose all generators, there are certain posts that will not be able to do that. But we have low light capability and we've had that since the early 90s. You are misrepresenting the facts, Mr. Starr. We have, sir? We have low-light capability cameras, and we have engaged since Benghazi in an upgrade program starting with it's all of our... It's not complete. You, you wanted us to believe, if I didn't question you, that every one of our posts can see at night. They can't. Sir, the and you don't understand that. You are the Assistant Secretary, Bureau of Diplomatic Security, and you don't know that our people can't see at night. Our Marines and our agents can see at night. Well, I would tell you this, Mr. Starr, if I may, Mr. Chairman, uh, the regional security officers uh, are the ones that provide, as you well know, uh, the security for each of the compounds. State funds the RSO's request. Correct. And that includes many of the pieces of equipment that they ask for. Now, either the integrity of the Marine Corps is at stake here, where they say that they can't get the equipment because it's funded through the RSO's, or maybe somebody else's integrity is at question here. I, I think the picture is really clear. You can understand why these RSOs are having so many problems. I walk into every embassy I go into now and ask them if I can see it at night. One of the most recent embassies I walked into, they said, well, if the lights are on. I said, well, what happens if it's dark? What happens if they shoot out the lights? No, then we couldn't see a thing. We'd be in the pitch dark. How are you in that position have the arrogance to come before us and say everybody has the ability to see at night? I'm telling you, Mr. Starr, you are beyond, beyond uh, belief here. Th this is why we keep coming back here, because that is fundamentally and totally not true. And I'm dedicating, to make, dedicating my life, running around the world, to make sure that they get the equipment that they have. The problem is the person's in position to do it, who could go down to Home Depot and buy this stuff, isn't doing, doesn't even think it's a problem. I would love to see a list. Are you able to provide a list to us of all the outstanding requests by the regional security officers? Can you provide us that list? I believe I can, sir. When will you provide it? Give me two weeks, sir. Two weeks it is. Now I recognize the gentleman from Alabama. May, I, Palmer, may I comment, sir? Sure. Sir, we have embassies all across the world. We have embassies in third world countries and first world countries. We have embassies where we've never lost power 
and we have embassies where we do lose power and we run on generators. We have some of the most comprehensive security standards for any facility in the world. Now, I am not saying that our buildings are built better than the protection for nuclear facilities. But in comparison to a regular office building, our facilities are built to a standard that is very safe and secure. Our embassies in Sudan and in Tunis withstood eight and a half hours of crowds pounding on them when the police wouldn't come and rescue our people. Our Marines and our RSOs had the equipment to defend those embassies during that time. Nobody got in. Nobody was injured. We have comprehensive programs. They are not perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect program, and we continue to run reasonable risks overseas. But we will do our absolute best to ensure that our people are safe and secure. I appreciate you getting that list to this committee. I do appreciate it. We look forward to seeing it in two weeks. Mr. Palmer from Alabama.